But first we'll go ahead and get rid of this print function. So we're going to take a look at the insert query, which we spoke about a little bit in the first portion of this series in databases one when working in PHP my admin. So we're going to do things a little bit different this time. Um, instead of just running the MySQL query function, we're going to save our query into a variable. Create a variable called query. And we'll go ahead and write our query here. And we're going to do insert into nav. And the format of this is to start with parentheses here and list out the column names. So we're going to want label URL target and status. And after the parentheses, we say values, and then another set of parentheses. In this set of parentheses, we want to put in the values. And pretty much all of these are going to be strings, so we need to put them in single quotes. We'll do underscore post. And then we just need to go down the line here and choose the name property of each field which I just realized the typo here. Status needs to be changed to status. Okay, so in here we'll do label, comma, URL, comma, status is going to be a numeric value so we can actually do that one without the quotes and there you go that is our full insert query now we need to run the query so like before we'll do result equals mysql i underscore query and this is going to take the two parameters still, only this time we're going to send it the dbc, but instead of writing the query out within this function here, we'll just send it the query variable. And I do have a reason for doing that. We'll take a look at that in a second. So we'll go ahead and save this and upload it. Come over to our browser. Load up the page. And this time we'll put some actual information in there. So we used to have a contact us link in there and we deleted it in one of our examples so let's put that back contact us URL and target will leave blank because we want it to load in the same window and status one because we want it to be active go ahead and click add navigation link and there you go now we really don't know if anything happened. So the only way to test right now is to go over to our database and click on browse. And there you go, it worked. Contact us, contact PHP, nothing in the target, and status. Now we completely forgot to put in position. So let's go ahead and add that really quick. So underneath target here, Copy. Change that and remember to change the name. And we'll go ahead and take the placeholder property out of that. And we'll save that. So next we want to take a look at error handling. So we'll go ahead and save a copy of this. Change out our names here. 